Okay. Uh, Facebookers, you have to start all over again. It's hot and the devil is a liar. I didn't switch it off. The devil is a liar and he lost it. Yeah, you couldn't watch it over there. It just went off. So you start back on. Amen. Okay, I see them going back on. Today is a day of deliverance. I feel it. I know it. I sense it in my sensor. I know it in my knower. <laughs> it shows that we, we, something is happening. Glory be to God forevermore. Something is happening. Something is happening. Something is shifting. Something is dropping. Glory be to God. You need, uh-huh, more people are joining. Hello, Nevada. It broke off and came back on. So I apologize for that. I didn't do it. It just went off for the first time ever. So you've got to have Periscope and Facebook. And those of you watching on Facebook, this is a sign to you. This is a sign to you. <laughs> <laughs> that something has happened today and those watching on Periscope, this is a sign to us that something has happened. Amen. That something has broken today in the name of Jesus. Somebody wrote me on, on, uh, on uh, Periscope asking me, what do I think of Donald Trump? I think that Donald Trump is the choice of God for today. Whether we like it or not, that is what God has decided to do at this time, and so be it. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Glory be to God. All the money and all the gold and all the silver. Welcome back on Facebook. It went off, but we're back. Amen. Share all over again. Invite your friends. And those on Periscope share, I always advise people, download Periscope, set it up, and Facebook. If one is being messed up or being messed with, you're messing up, just switch over. You need to hear the word of God at this time and all the time. Glory be to God. God gave Israel favor to go and get wealthy overnight. God gave Israel favor to get wealthy overnight. On Facebook, there are even more people now joining than before. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God gave Israel favor to get wealthy. Amen. And please write it up for me. Put it up. If you, if you need favor, you've got to speak it. You've got to declare it. Hallelujah. You need to speak it. You need to declare it. Hello, Lola. Good to see you. You need to speak it. You need to declare it. Hallelujah. Amen. If you're expecting it, speak it every day. Favor. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In fact, let's declare it. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it. In the name of Jesus, I declare uncommon favor, financial favor. Favor for money to come to me. I am favored. I receive favor. I cover myself with favor. In the name of Jesus. It's possible to get wealthy overnight. One touch from God. And the same people who oppressed you, who suppressed you, and suppress your fathers, will turn around and give you but the secret to favor is that you must speak it. You must declare it. You must say it. You must call for it. You must say it. Worst case scenario, they say no. You must program favor. You must pray favor. Oh, I'm shouting now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory be to God. When you speak it, you begin to pull on the anointing of Jesus. Who had favor with God and with man. Why did Jesus have favor with God and with man? Amen. It's for us. So, because 
for our sake, for our sake, he was made poor that we might be made rich. Amen. Declare it. Amen. Uh huh. I like what Nevu just said. What is too small? What is too big for your mouth to declare may be too big for your hands to handle. So say in the name of Jesus, I speak wealth. Say it. I speak wealth. I speak abundance. I speak plenty. I declare favor, financial favor over my life. Favor in the city. Say it. Favor in the field. Favor with people in authority. Favor on the job. Favor going out. Favor coming in. In the name of Jesus, I declare it, I receive it, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Say amen now. Glory be to God. Every time God wants to transfer money to his children, he will allow a problem in the world. The Israelites were slaves in the land of Egypt for 400 years. But one day, they were used to defeat. They were used to failure, lack, insufficiency. Hallelujah. I want you to put up thumbs up, put up heart, show that you're connecting. Amen. Hallelujah. Then the Lord gave them favor. They went. It's your turn to play your part. Speak it. Declare it. Hallelujah. Favor is activated when you speak it. Amen. Glory be to God. What your father, let me prophesy over somebody. What your father worked for, what your mother worked for, what your hands could not touch, what your fathers could not touch, you will touch them, you will receive them, you will handle them in the name of Jesus. Hello there. You will, glory be to God. You will, you will, you will. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Look at it in, uh, in, in James chapter 5. Put it up for me, scribes. James chapter 5, 4 to 5. James chapter 5. In the Amplified Version. Listen to this. But look. Here are the wages that you have withheld by fraud from the laborers who have reaped your fields, crying for vengeance. And the cries of the harvesters have come to the ears of the Lord of hosts. Here on earth you have abandoned yourselves to soft, prodigal living and to the pleasures of self-indulgence and self-gratification. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. Years and years of their money and wealth were stolen from the Israelites. The rich got richer, living soft, comfortable lives. God said that a part of their judgment was to release the money to those who work for them. Favor can force people to give you money. But you must command favor every day upon your life. Financial favor does not care what the bill says. Does not care what the banker says. Does not care what the, the economy says. In fact, every time there's a problem in any economy, money changes hands. In America, there's a study done every time people studied it. All the depressions America has suffered and dealt with. Where more millionaires were raised in America during the time of depression. The question I'm asking is, why are Christian people not prospering? And these people out there in the world are prospering like crazy. Why? Amen. Why? I'm talking of people who have been faithful in their finances. They're tithing. They're doing first fruit. 
they are doing uh, offerings, they are sowing, and I'm speaking that to somebody. Do not get discouraged. Amen. Yes, money must change hands. In fact, you should put it up on the screen. Everybody watching today, money must change hands. Money must change hands. Money must change hands. Money must flow to me. Money must flow to me. Hallelujah. And I'm speaking to those who have been sowing, who have been faithful in their finances, in your church, or wherever you are watching me or hearing me. Amen. Your time is coming. There's always a time and a season. And this is your time and season. You've been sowing. You've been consistent. You've been faithful. Get ready. Because when the cloud is full, it can always break. The only thing naturally that will happen is for the rain to fall. The rain is about to fall on your field. The rain is about to fall on your field. It shall be said concerning your field, your work, your job, your career, your company, your enterprise, the work of your hands, your ministry, that that is a field which the Lord has blessed. That is a family which the Lord has blessed. That is what people will say about you. Glory be to God forevermore. I say glory be to God forevermore. Amen. I said amen. When you have financial favor, how do you know? Pastor, how do I know that I'm walking in financial favor? When you're walking in financial favor, let me give you some of the ways you know. The first sign that you're about to break through into serious money is when you begin to struggle. When there's a and a, a, a bombardment. Suddenly, all of a sudden, attacks are coming against your finances. Attacks upon attacks. Bombardment. Things just going crazy. That is a sign for to you that something awesome is about to happen. And I prophesy to the body of Christ, something great is about to happen. Something awesome is about to happen. Amen. In your finances, don't back up. Don't get weary. Don't stop sowing. Don't stop serving. Don't stop speaking it. Something awesome is about to happen in your finances. And it's not just going to be by labor. I'm not saying you shouldn't work or go out to work and do earn money. But the kind of money I'm talking about has to come by favor. It has to come by favor. It has to come by the finger of God, by the power of God. The clients will begin to flow. Customers will begin to flow. Businesses, business ideas, money spinning ideas, partnerships will come. Those are some of the signs by which you know the financial favor. Money, people will want to finance your money or your business. Amen. People want to partner with you. Silent partners, they give you money and say, you go do it. And I'm speaking to somebody, I, I, let me just prophesy that all the money you have lost, there's somebody who lost money. All the money you have lost is going to be restored to you. Not just one fold, seven fold. Receive it. All the money you have lost, all the money that has been stolen from you, all the money that has been taken from you, all the money that has been withheld from you, not just money, wealth and riches, abundance, plenty, that have been denied you, that you don't even know about. God is going to cause those who held them, in whose hands that all that money is, to release it to you in the name of Jesus. To release it to you in the name of Jesus. Somebody type up, release, release, release in the name of Jesus. They will give it to you. Glory be to God. They will give it to you. And I speak it and I prophesy it and I command it in the name of Jesus. Release, release, release it in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Days of financial shame in the church of Jesus Christ, they are about to be over. There will be a financial revival. Money must change hands for the financing and the sponsorship of this last move of the Holy Ghost before Jesus comes. There's a scripture in Acts of the Apostles. I want to show you that even the church, after it was raised up, amen, had favor in order to finance the gospel. You need favor. Amen. Acts chapter 4, verse 34. Acts 4, 34. There was favor on the church, the young church of Jesus Christ. And people began to sell their houses and lands and brought the money to the apostles. Why? Because of Acts 2.44. In Acts 2.44, you can look it up. God gave the church and the apostles favor. Favor. And by the time we get to Acts 4, for some reason that no one can explain supernaturally, people begin to, can you imagine selling their houses? selling their lands, and bringing the money to the church. All of it <laughs> for the financing of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that every time there's a revival, there's a transfer of money. Every time there is a revival, there's a transfer of wealth. And in the name of Jesus, I speak a transfer. I'm talking to those who are faithful. This is not for everybody. Thank you. Those who are faithful, those who are committed, those who are willing, those who have been trained by God. There's somebody going through so much. God is just training you, preparing you, not punishing you, training you. Like Joseph, he's a, he's a very, look, when you have money, it's a different flow, man. You better be ready. So ask God to prepare you for what is prepared for you. Say that, Father, in the name of Jesus, let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, prepare me for what you have prepared for me. In the name of Jesus. Father, prepare me now for greatness. Prepare me now for prosperity. Prepare me now for success. Prepare me now for elevation. Prepare me now for promotion. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you agree, just say amen right there. Just type up amen. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. We need financial favor. Another sign that you're walking in financial favor is unexpected money. Don't be fooled. We need money. You do. When you have money, your prayer life is different. <laughs> Hallelujah. When there's money, you pray differently. When you have money, you walk differently. Glory be to God. When you have money, you talk differently. I know of churches. I didn't finish the story about Young Cho. He needed to go to South Africa, and he needed to take uh, for a conference. And he took some of the millionaires in his church from South Korea. Everybody wealthy in that plane. You know what the airline did? They converted the whole plane to first class. Because the first class compartment could not take all the businessmen. Amen. All the passengers with Young Lee Cho on that flight were all millionaires and billionaires. So the airline converted the whole plane to first class. <laughs> Folks, there are churches where when you have been to a church after ministering, the pastor said, Oh, um... There's a, you know, as usual, on your way out, drop your offering and your tithe. Be blessed. That's all he said. And he said, and by the way, as you go out, drop a gift or a check or cash for Pastor Choosy. Bless him. That's all he said. Why must we take an hour to raise the offering in churches? Why must we push people and beg them? And uh, No! There are churches where nothing called fundraising is allowed. Bishop David Oyedepo in Nigeria is like that. 
Hallelujah. They don't raise no offering for nothing. And the churches, they have four airplanes. They build things that are, they have two universities. <laughs> Glory be to God. So these things I'm talking about, I've seen it. There are churches where they don't raise no offering. We do offering time, lift up your offering, Father bless your offering, amen, blah, blah. Now cast your seed, amen, that's it. Why must we preach for an hour to raise money? Why must we promise people holy water and holy handkerchief and holy oil and holy this and holy that to make you give to the work of God? And we want to prosper. There's him that withholdeth and tendeth to poverty. And that there is him that scattereth seed and aboundeth. Make it uh, in your church. I'm not trying to. In your church where you worship. Pray that God will trust you and raise you up to be a money bag for the kingdom of God. Someone like Joseph, someone like David, someone like Solomon. God is looking for temple builders, tabernacle builders. Moses built a tabernacle to God, for, for God, by the wealth that the children of When he called for an offering, go read it. He, they gave so much that Moses said, this is enough. Please stop giving. David left so much wealth for Solomon. Solomon had to build that temple. Magnif wealth, abundance, plenty like never before. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And God is looking for people that he can raise up. You see all these people who sing gospel music, they come to churches, they're singing gospel music, they're hustling, they're selling CDs, and they're looking, and then uh, a lot of people don't sing gospel music because they love the Lord. They're singing because they're looking for money. They sing commercial gospel music. Not at, no anointing. Amen. I said amen. You see people who, look, when you have financial favor, write this down, you have peace. Singing and dancing on the platform, but broke. You sing, the anointing comes down, others pressing into God, but you can't, don't have $5 gas in your, in your tank. The devil is a liar. Pastors laboring 40 years, 50 years, wearing broken shoes and worn out clothes and their children hate the gospel and hate God and hate the church and hate serving God because they watched their father labor all his life and couldn't pay bills. It's in the Bible in 2 Kings chapter 4. The prophet worked for God, worked for God, served God and died broke and in death and the creditors came to take his children his two sons. And the wife had to run to the prophet for help. And you're listening because by a prophet, he brought Israel out of Egypt. By a prophet, he established them and fed them and nurtured them and nourished them and prospered them. Why is what? Why, why are people broke? Because the man was anointed but did not understand how to operate the anointing for fundraising. For fi not fundraising, for finances. You can be anointed. You can be favored, but n still be broke. So you've got to work it. And you work it by sowing. And you work it by knowledge. And you work it by understanding. And you work it by insight. And you work it by revelation. And you work it by tithing. And you work it by giving. And you work it by going to your pastor and say, Pastor, I have a few hundred dollars. Is there any need? Of course there's always a need in any church. I don't care if it's the richest church in the world. There's always a need. <laughs> there's always somebody who is needed, who needs money. Glory be to God. Amen. I said amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And as a prophet of God, I release it over you, that from now on, wisdom concerning money will come to you. And even as the money begins to flow again, and your financial hair begins to grow again, God will give you wisdom. God will give you understanding. 
that the money you have is not for you, it's for his kingdom. You will still buy shoes and cars and houses and all the wonderful things and save money and invest. There's nothing wrong. Buy houses, cash and all that. That's wonderful. But at the end of the day, I pray that God will give you wisdom and knowledge to use the money and help his people and build his church and his kingdom and help people, missionaries who are willing to go from one place to the other. Do you know what it means for somebody to leave his house and go squeeze himself into a hotel room and preaching the gospel? Amen. If you find it difficult to give to God, God will find it difficult to give to you. Amen. If you find it difficult to give to God, God will find it difficult to give to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you find it easy to give to God, if you find it easy to open your hands to God, God will find it easy to open his hands to you. If you find it easy to worship God with your stuff, your money, God will find it easy to give to you. Because God takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. And we are no more servants, we are sons. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. I've got to go. I don't want to keep you too long. If you need to contact me, 404-935-2878. If you're not born again, say after me, Father, forgive my sins. I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And from now on, Father, give me grace to live for you. In Jesus' name. Father, you've, you've heard the prayers of your people. Wash their sins. Write their names in the book of life. Save their soul to the uttermost. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray that God will locate you in a church that he has for you. Don't just go to any church because you like it. Ask God to lead you to your church. And ask God to lead you to Glory House. <laughs> Amen. Glory House World Church, the plenty place. Amen. My email address is right there. Hallelujah. King of Israel 14 at gmail.com. King of Israel 14 at gmail.com. Email me. I'll be glad to hear your testimony and how God is blessing you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you to all those who are giving toward the mission to Malaysia. I appreciate you. God will bless you and cause you to be a money jellist for Him. And I appreciate you. To God be the glory. Celebrate you. Don't forget, glory to glory, July 16th to the 23rd. July 16th to the 23rd. Please make time. Go get your visa renewed. Get your passport. Get your vacation time. Book your ticket and time. We'll be glad to receive you and host you. It's going to be awesome. Judy Jacobs coming. John Eckhart is coming. Pastor Jesus is coming. Pastor Sharon is coming. Dr. Glenn Arakian is coming. Above all, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, is coming. Glory be to God forevermore. Please listen to this message over and over and share it. A lot of people need to know that it's the will of God for people to prosper. And it is the will of God for people to use their money to serve him. Hallelujah. There's a lot of pastors who worship with us today online. Ministers of the gospel. Pastor David Chanoko, thank God for you. Uh, my my beautiful, wonderful sister, Elder Telma, thank you. Dickiness Yemisi, thank you. Pastor Timmy, thank you. Pastor Chris, thank you. Pastor Bola, thank you. Bishop Simeon, thank you. Pastor Tokwe, good to see you there. Evangelist Bibi, thank you. Pastor Daisy, thank you. Dickin Neville, thank you. Dickiness Adrian, thank you. Minister Marie, thank you. Mrs. Sandra, thank you. Uh, Minister Susan, thank you. Hallelujah. All of my team in Glory House, thank you so much. Uh, Deaconess Adrian, I don't know how you're going to do it to put together on Facebook the part one and part two together. I don't know if you can do it. And somebody find out how we can uh, repeat, how we can post broadcasts that were previously recorded on Periscope. Please, if you know how, 
let let me know you you people who know how to do you know technology i know that if you tape a video a video you can post it on facebook easily i can do that but how to post it on facebook on periscope uh that, that's why i know you so you 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 let me know amen praise the lord thank you so much if you uh viewed or, or if you worship with us or it's your first time on command your day listen to me seeing me hearing me please uh put up a five type five for the fifth month so we can greet you and i appreciate you before we go amen Facebookers, I have a word for you on Facebook. Uh, let me finish first and uh, we'll share what God is speaking for Facebook. Glory be to God. Amen. I've gone over an hour and I think it's time to go. If it's your first time, amen. How to save live broadcasts also. Yes. And people are still joining on Facebook. God bless you. Thank you, Scopers. I didn't see any first timer. God bless you. Please, if you're not following me, follow me. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day. It's not over until you win. Okay, I see Tandria Cruz. Your first time. God bless you, sweetheart. Yeah, I see that. God bless you. I need you to follow me. Bring all your friends and followers on Facebook. Be send me a friend request. I still have space. Amen. Glory be to God. If you, if you have not a first time, God bless you, darling. It was nice to have you on Facebook. And it's not over until you win. Amen. You can go back and listen to all the teachings. We started, I believe, last week, Friday. Adrian Bing, your first time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Have a great day. We'll have Bible study tonight. Glory house. It's not over. And communion service. It's not over. And tonight, our communion service will be on Communion for, fina for finances. Communion for financial favor. Yes, Holy Ghost, thank you. Communion for financial favor. So those of you at home, wherever you are, if you want to join us, get your communion elements ready and, uh, and then be a part of the broadcast. We will do it because it's communion service. And this week, Friday, we have our monthly communion service we're having two communion services this week every wednesday now we have communion service in glory house as well as the teaching the prayers and every first friday of the month we have a monthly communion service the more communion you have the more power you have hallelujah god bless you scoopers bye bye have a great day hallelujah thank you paris uh, uh, facebookers I have a word for somebody on Facebook, and the word of the Lord comes to you that yes, I have seen your tears, I've seen your, I've heard your cries, and behold, I'm about to do a new thing in your life. And do not look at the things that were in the past, saith the Lord. Do not forsake where I brought you from. Do not forget it. Do not fear, saith the Lord, for I'm about to do a new thing. You've been laughed at, you've been mocked at for so long, and I'm about to lift you. And the word that was spoken today by my son and my servant, Pastor Chusey, was meant for you. It's your month of mega favor and month of restoration and turn around, saith the Lord. And I speak it and I release it into your life in the name of Jesus. If you receive it, respond, put a star or heart or something. Amen. Or say amen or say thank you, Jesus, or something to show that that word was for you on Facebook. Come on, come on, come on. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. That God has spoken. He's about to visit you. He has heard your cries. He has seen your tears. He has seen your heart that you want to be a blessing to his kingdom and his people. And he's about to release the kind of wealth and substance you have never seen before. And I agree with you. And we say, Father, do it. Do it quickly, do it rapidly, do it suddenly, do it supernaturally for your glory, for the blessings of your people. Glory be to God. If you just join me at some point, Facebook tripped and cut off, and so it has part one and part two. Amen. God bless you. It's not over until you win. Bye-bye.